A gentle breeze stirred the water and the surface shimmered with an otherworldly light. Suddenly, the water goddess appeared before them. Her voice echoed from the depths, soft yet powerful, promising to grant their request under one condition. They must vow to cherish and protect the child with all their hearts. They must never allow the child near a fire. For the flame, Once upon a time, in a quaint village, nestled among rolling hills and lush trees, there lived a beautiful young girl named Uma. Her parents, Ikenna and Adeze, stayed for years before they had her. Her arrival brought a renewed sense of joy and vitality to the community. Her laughter echoed through the streets, her innocence captivating every heart. Her parents' love overflowed, radiating through her smile. As she grew, her kindness knew no bounds, and her compassion touched the lives of all who knew her. The villagers embraced her as their own, showering her with affections and guidance. However, there are whispers of dark powers that surrounded her birth. Years before she was born, her father, Ikenna, who yearned for a child to carry on his legacy, despite his love for his wife, Adeze, desperate for an heir, Ikenna felt a deep sorrow cloud his heart. In an attempt to fulfill his desire, Ikenna took a second wife named Isabella, hoping she would bear him the child he so desperately craved. Years passed, and still neither wife bore Ikenna a child. Ada and Isabella grew close, finding solace in each other's company amidst the shared burden of their husband's longing. Adeze had a friend named Nkechi. One day, Adeze confided in her friend Nkechi about their struggles. Nkechi determined to help her friend, suggested seeking the aid of the river goddess, known for granting the deepest desires of those who approached her with sincerity. With hope renewed, Nkechi accompanied Adeze to the sacred waters of the rivers where they offered prayers and offerings to the goddess. Adeze poured out her heart, beseeching her for the gifts of her child to bless their lives. As they stood by the river's edge, a gentle breeze stirred the water, and the surface shimmered with an otherworldly light. Suddenly, the water goddess appeared before them. Her voice echoed from the depths, soft yet powerful, promising to grant their request under one condition. They must vow to cherish and protect the child with all their hearts. They must never allow the child near a fire, for the flame held the power to unravel the threat of fate. Hadeze eagerly accepted the goddess terms, pledging her unwavering devotion to their future child. With a gentle smile, the river goddess blessed them, her divine energy enveloping them in a warm embrace. Months passed, and to the delight of Adeze, her belly swelled with the promise of new life. When the child was born, a beautiful daughter with eyes as deep as the river and laughter as melodious as his song, they named her Mma. Their home was filled with laughter and love, and the bond between Ikenna and Adeze grew stronger with each passing day. However, as the affection between Ikenna and Adeze flourished, a seed of jealousy took root in the heart of Isabella, Ikenna's second wife. Despite her initial understanding, she couldn't help but feel a pang of envy as she witnessed the unwavering love between Ikenna and Adeze. Isabella's heart yearned for Ikenna's affection, 
longing to feel the same devotion that he lavished upon Adese and her child. She found herself growing increasingly resentful of Adese's presence, her jealousy festering like a poison within her soul. Adese raised her daughter, Mma, with utmost care, ensuring she remained safe from the dangers of flames. She shielded her from the fleckling glow of candles, always mindful of the goddess warning. There is something important I must tell you, Adese said to Umma one day. Umma looked up at her mother, sensing the seriousness in her tone. What is it, Mama? She asked, her bro furrowing with concern. Adese took a deep breath, stealing herself from the weight of her words. My sweet child, you must never, under any circumstances, go near a fire. She warned, her gaze locking with Umma's. Umma's eyes widened in surprise at her mother's solemn tone. But why, Mama? Fire is beautiful, she protested, her innocence shining through. Adese's heart ached at her daughter's innocence, knowing the truth she must impart. Fire may seem beautiful, my daughter, but it holds a power that can bring great harm. She explained gently. It can burn and destroy. And once it is unleashed, it is difficult to control. Ma listened intently, her young mind observing her mother's words with earnestness. I understand, Mama, she said solemnly. Her reserve firm. I will stay away from fire, I promise. Adeze enveloped Umma in a warm embrace, her heart overflowing with love and gratitude. Unknown to Adeze, Isabella, her co-wife, stood just beyond the doorway, her ears attuned to their conversation. As she listened to Adeze's warning to Umma about the dangers of fire, a flicker of curiosity ignited within her. She vowed to get to the root of it all and to use it to her advantage. With a stealthy steps, Isabella retreated from the doorway, her mind racing with thoughts of how to get to the root of it all and how she could use her newfound knowledge to her benefit. One day, as her adults attended to her chores, Isabella approached her with a friendly smile on her face, with a seemingly innocent question. Adeze, my dear sister wife, Isabella began with a sweet smile. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Umma earlier. You mentioned something about her not going near a fire. Why is that? Caught off guard by Isabella's probing questions, Adeze hesitated for a moment, her mind racing as she searched for a response. Unaware of Isabella's ulterior motives, she eventually relented, believing she had nothing to hide. It is because of a promise I made long ago, Adeze began, her voice soft and tinged with nostalgia. I sought the guidance of the river goddess to bless me with a child. In return, the goddess warned me never to allow Uma near a fire. Isabella's eyes widened with intrigue. Why would the river goddess issue such a warning? She asked, feigning innocence as she prays for more details. I really don't know, Adesa replied. Isabella's mind, wild with possibilities, sensing an opportunity to exploit Emma's connection to the river goddess for her own gain. She fired away Adeze's revelation for future use, her cunning mind already concocting schemes to further her ambitions. One day, Adeze, trusting and naive, went to the market, leaving Umma at the care of her trusted co-wife, Isabella.